Hi there! Today we'll be focusing on three of the biomes of South Africa, but before we can do that, we need to know the difference between a biome and an ecosystem. A biome is a part of the biosphere and is characterised by its climate or percentage of water, aquatic and terrestrial biomes. An ecosystem is made up of habitats and is a clearly defined place where all living organisms interact with each other and the abiotic factors around them. The biomes we are focusing on today are the forest biome, the fynbos biome and the succulent karoo biome. The climate has 1,000 mm of rainfall on average, distributed over the entire year, with warm summers and mild to cool winters. Large trees, shrubs and ferns grow here, which have small to medium leaves of simple and compound variety, and generally have dark green leaves to make photosynthesis more efficient, as the taller trees block out a portion of the sun. Forests are threatened by deforestation for agricultural and residential land, logging, fire and invasive aliens. Ericas, Ericaceae. Ericaceae have linear or needle-like downward curling leaves ranging from 2 to 12 mm long and 1 to 2 mm wide. They can either have tubular or bell-shaped flowers and have soft, numerous leaves. The Erica has adapted to a dry, hot climate by developing small, waxy leaves that are stacked one on top of another on the stem to shade as many of the leaves as possible from the sun. The curl of the leaf helps to keep moisture in, adding to this plant's defence against transpiration, which is water lost through the leaves to keep the plant cool, like mammal sweat. Proteas Proteas have many varieties of flower, ranging from the famous king protea to other lesser known ones, like the pink cushion varieties. They can be identified by their woody stem with waxy oval leaves that may have a red rim around them and colourful flowers. The proteas deal with water loss by having its leaves arranged vertically around the stem to minimise the surface area of the leaves exposed to the sun and has the red rim which acts like sunblock. Its succulent leaves help it to better store water. Restios Restios are large reed-like shrubs that are green stemmed with brown flowers on the end. The brown black rings you see on the stem are its leaves. Restios deal with transpiration by offering nearly no surface area of leaves to the sun. Buchel are shrubs with small, ovular, waxy, succulent, horizontally stacked leaves, a flexible stem and small, sweet-smelling flowers. They live through the heat by storing water in their leaves and have them stacked to provide shade for one another. They keep undesirable insects away by discharging smelly oil from pores on the bottom of their leaves. The smell is not bad, but keeps insects away. Food permits and energy flow. This permit shows the food chain in a famous environment like that at Kirstenbosch. The organisms are arranged in order of trophic level, except the decomposers, which are separate and consume everything once it's died. In this way, they recycle energy back into the permit. The producers are plants, which use the sun's rays to make food by photosynthesis. They are eaten by the primary consumers, which are herbivores. The herbivores are eaten by the secondary consumers, which are the carnivores. Next come the tertiary consumers, which may eat any combination of the other trophic levels. Ideal plant for the succulent career. Our design is of a rugged, insect attracting spherical plant which collects water in a small depression on the top and funnels rain into this depression via palm like leaves with hairy leaves to limit transpiration and gather rain more effectively. The sphere is designed to be as rugged as possible and to store starch and water for the dry months with biological antifreeze to stop it exploding in sub zero temperatures. The depression, as well as provide the plant with more water, attracts pollinators to the plant. The plant does not rely on the depression for water as it has a sturdy taproot to keep it planted and gather resources. Human impact on all biomes. Humans are not very considerate to plants in many things that we do, such as mining, logging, illegal or unmonitored harvesting, and introducing of invasive alien plant species, crop spraying, clearing land for agricultural and residential use, or even 4 x 4 or hiking. The result of these activities is extinction for some plant species due to habitat dis destruction or just targeted, methodical, and monitored harvesting or destruction by aliens. This means that the local ecosystem is weakened as it loses producers and therefore a lot of everything else in the food permit as well. Biodiversity is also weakened, which makes the local ecosystems even more vulnerable to an epidemic or loss of plant biomass. To slow these events from happening, we can do several things. We can raise awareness of local plants' endangered status. 
Go summon your own garden, sign petitions against ecologically damaging engineering projects such as fracking, mining, unsustainable logging, and introduction of new alien species into our biomes.